Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox scripting tutorial, and I know it's been ages since I made the last Roblox scripting tutorial, that is my own fault, I have nobody to blame, and I am sorry guys, I should have been a better, better YouTuber, should have made videos for you guys, but I've been, I have been making other tutorials in Java and stuff at the, like the past week, but there was a long time when I didn't even log on to my channel, and I'm sorry. But, to make up for that, here's this tutorial on how to make leaderboards. Yay! Clap. Golf clap. Okay. Here's the script. This is my sixth time recording this tutorial, and I hope it finally works. Or maybe it's fifth. No, it's sixth. Yeah. And then each time, the sound has been like three minutes off. So hopefully it's working this time. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, the last words I'll say are three minutes off on the vi compared to the video. So. I've slowed down how my audio is recorded really far. So hopefully you guys can still understand what I'm saying. But it won't be the clearest sound. Alright. So. Ga r read this and then I'll explain it. Game that players that player added. Okay, I've explained this before, but game that players that player added player added is an event that happens inside the player's directory telling the game all right somebody new is here run all the scripts that need this and to tell and to make sure a script knows it needs it you put this in and then hit connect so we're connecting a function to the event and it's going to give us a parameter and that parameter is always going to be the player itself and the player is this guy not his character, but that. Okay. And then we're going to run give stats with the same player, and we're going to end. And in give stats, we make a new variable, and it's called, and it's of the type int value. So it's now an actual int value because we used instance.new int value. Then stats.name equals leader stats. Okay, I'll explain why we have to name it that in a minute. Points equals instance that new int value. All right, same thing. Points that name equals points. You can name it whatever you want. Points that value equals 923. You can make it any number you want that does not have a decimal places. Points that value equals 923. Points that parents equals stat. And stats that parent equals player. Now I'll go show you what that script actually ends up doing. All right. Firstly, it puts leader stats into the player, and then it puts points into leader stats. Well, actually, points is put into leader stats, and leader stats is then put into the player. Okay? So leader stats is an int value, and it's named leader stats, and now I'll explain how this ends up, how Roblox works with its leaderboard. It goes through every player in the players, looks to see if they have a leader stats. If so, it's going to look inside the leader stats, and it has to be named leader stats. And it's going to find every int value. It's going to take its name. It's going to put it up here if it doesn't already have something of the same name. And then in their row, there it's going to put this whatever value it is under that column for that name. Okay? So, not much else to explain about a leaderboard because it's sort of a simple concept, I hope. Hopefully it's simple enough for you guys. Um... Uh.